Okay, recording has started and we are going to go ahead and give our demo of the student uh, submission portal for local units. And I am not going to ask for interaction. So guys, please don't think I'm going to constantly ask you, but would anybody tell me if you can indeed see my screen? Because wouldn't it be bad if I talk for 15 minutes about something you can't see? So would someone tell me, can you see it? Yes, I yes, can okay. see yes. it. Yes, <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Thank right. you. Sir, no worries, no more interaction. All right, now I'm gonna to try to make this this fast because Jones created this portal and honestly, it's, it's really user-friendly and I think you're just gonna see me go through it and realize, oh, we've got this. So that's my hope. So this is the portal page. You can get to it via email because we've sent it, I think we sent it out in a link. We've got it on our Facebook page. So this is where you will land. Um, it tells you uh, step one, this is what you need to upload your three winners from each category. It will not work if your student entry form does not have an artist title and the artist statement must be between 10 and 100 words. So that is important. Next, you have a naming convention. So you're going to have all of these files on your computer that are going to be named who knows what, because maybe kids sent them to you, maybe you scanned them in. We at the county have to get hundreds of files and figure out who sent us what for judging. So if you look at the first black bolded area, it says example artist, Samantha Anderson from Keith Elementary with her work, which is titled Voice on Water in the photography. And she is primary, which means she would be in K through two. How do you do that? First, you start, if you look above that where it's colored, it tells you the first thing you're gonna do is the category. So she is photography, you're gonna do a letter P and then a hyphen. The next you're gonna do the division. So in that case, you would do PRI for primary. If you're a middle school, MS, high school, HS, special artist, SA, you got this. Then you're gonna put the artist's first and last name with a space between them, another hyphen. You're going to write the name of the piece, the title with another hyphen, you're gonna put the school name and you would write something like, I would write Haggerty HS. You would write Lawton Childs MS, Keith Ellum, got it? And then you're gonna put a hyphen and then you're gonna put the word form if it's the student entry form. Um, you're gonna do the exact same thing for the artwork. So you look at the next thing where it says code for the artwork, it's identical, but the word form isn't there. So if you just have visual art, that's how you're going to rename it. If you have something like 3D art where there has to be three photos or you've got music where they've included tablature after the name of the title, sorry, where it says voice on water, you're gonna write voice on water one for the first file, voice on water two for the second file and voice on water three for the third file. And honestly, that's pretty simple but that's about as confusing as this gets is just renaming. And then you're gonna click on the link that tells you this is where you are gonna submit them. First thing it needs is your email. So I am entering my email at Haggerty. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put a fake student in here. So um, I'm trying to think of what this girl's name is that we've been using for this, Emerson. Okay, sorry, there's the files, excuse me. All right, we go here and we're going to write Emerson Keene. She's a real student, she entered last year. I'm sure you guys can follow what I'm doing. I'm putting her age, her mailing address. Okay, doesn't matter. You guys get the point. I'm gonna put mom's name, uh, parent or contact email. So you guys are getting that all of this information comes from the student entry form. Okay parent or student, whoever uh, gave you their phone number. Okay, name of their school. So you're gonna find your school here. Everybody that's registered has a school. Okay, next you've got upload the student entry form here. So this is absolutely where you are going to upload the form. We allow you to add more than one form because as we know, some students did their artist statement on a separate sheet of paper. So the one I chose is a student who did the artist statement on a separate sheet of paper. So I'm just opening up this little folder I've got here. So here's the entry form. It says Emerson entry form music. So here's her entry form. Okay, that looks familiar to everybody. I'm hoping you're looking at this nodding going, oh yeah, 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 I got this. 
And you see at the bottom for artist statement, she wrote C attached because some kids do that. Here's the artist statement. Oh good, my Adobe ran out, that's fantastic. Okay, there's the artist statement. And then below that you see there is her music file as an MP3 and there is a PDF of her tablature. Hopefully you notice that the first file is incorrectly labeled. So you would have to make sure to rename this before you upload it. We're gonna start with the category, which is music, HS for high school. Artist's name with a space, title of artwork. School, and then the word form. So that's what I'm gonna call this one. Uh, M for music, HS for high school, Emerson Keen, and that should be, sorry, excuse me there, that should be a hyphen. Um, progress, Haggerty High School dash form. The next one, I just called it form two because this kid went ahead and put her artist statement on a separate sheet of paper. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna hit add file. Then you hit browse and you're looking for this on your, oh, there it is. Okay. So we have the form, okay? I'm picking this just out of my file. I'm on a Mac, if you're on a PC, it'll look a little different, but it's the same thing. I'm gonna hit open and there's the file. You guys see the name? So you know you've done it right. I'm gonna hit add file. I'm gonna hit browse. This is really hard to see behind this, but I move uh, form two, there's her artist statement. Most of you won't have separate artist statements, but I did this one so you could see what happens. Do you see now we have two separate files here? Judges code, leave blank, and you're gonna hit next. Go to the next page and you're gonna choose a category. If you recall, she was music, you choose music. Division, I'm gonna choose high school. Of course, you've got special artists, whatever works for you. Student grade, I don't remember, I think she was 10th grade. Classroom, this is great if you have the classroom, but most high schoolers don't write it. So that's something you don't have to do. The title is important. If your student give, didn't give you a title, you absolutely have to get back with your student and say, we need a title. Artist statement. So what you're gonna do here with the artist statement is you're gonna pull up the child's artist statement and you're gonna copy and paste it like this in, or if they hand wrote it, well then you know what you gotta do. You're gonna get that and you've gotta type out their artist statement. And I do realize that's a little bit of a pain, but it is required for national. So you would write, the word for word artist statement. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. So I'm just gonna copy it right over from, from their form. And then that it's going to have a unique um, description of the rules for your item of how to, how to name it, right? The naming convention again. So this is what we already went over. And we're gonna say, yes, the file name is in the above listed format. And then double check it and it is still dance. So I'm just double checking. And I did one of these earlier today. Okay, we go to the next page. Now it's having us look at the rules. It's dance. Is it an MP4, a move, MOV or AVI file? Like I'm checking, okay, yeah. Did she write any background music, title and artists? Is it in the artist statement? and? It doesn't have to be in the artist statement. It could also be in the details. So as long as it's on the form somewhere, make sure the entrant is the choreographer, make sure it doesn't exceed five minutes or a thousand megs. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It meets the rules. Then you upload, same as before you hit browse. And uh, this is really hard to see on my computer. There we go. We've got progress one. That was the music file. And it says it's not supported. So it might be in an old format. And then the other one, so we might have to change this part right here because it's not accepting the PDF. So we will have Michelle change that, but um, you would see them both pop up here. And again, I only have files because I don't have any new entrants from this year. I only have files from when I did reflections at my school a year ago. Hey Katie, like, yeah. switch to music instead of dance. Did I do dance? Uh, yeah, you did. You did dance, but they're music files. So if you switch to music, just go to the bottom where you were at. Oh, you could have just gone to the bottom and you know how you have the option to change yeah. to confirm a different uh, category. 
um, oh switch to dance uh, from dance to music. Yeah, music. There you go. And press next. There you go. And then now it should allow a PDF document as well as an MP4, MP3 or MP3. Or no, it still may not work because you have an MP3 file instead of MP4. Yeah. But let's let's just double check. So that yeah, may be the last, issue, though. I got last year's stuff and. Yeah, so that may be what the issue is. Sorry to interrupt, guys. <laughs> no, my goodness. I'm so glad you did. So, hey, look at this. Yeah, so see, that's what I thought. I thought it was just because it was, because I, I know I did put PDF, uh, this allows PDF files. It may not allow that MP3 because it's MP3, not MP4, but go ahead and try it just to make sure. Same. Fingers crossed. Again, if I had new files from new kids. Yeah. Oh, look, there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just because, yeah, because I think for dance, it has to be a video file. Um, and yes, um, yes, and music it allows an audio file. So that's why you can have the MP3. And this is why PTA, we do stuff as a team because that's right. how I am flighty as I'll get out today. All right. So at the bottom, if they've got multiple entries, so, you know, when you get those kids that are so artistic, they enter in dance, they enter in music. If you've got a winner in another category, this is my favorite part. You can say, oh, they also won in film. And then you don't have to start from scratch. So I love that if you have a kid that has multiple winners. So thank you, Jones, for saving this. Um, but again, just can... note that if you do have someone that has multiple winners, you have to have two separate entry form. form sheets because they have two separate artist statements, you know, that kind of thing. So just be sure to to upload uh, both sets. And actually, as I think about that, we might need to give a second field for an additional artist statement that would have to yeah. accompany that that's other good, one. Yep, so I didn't even think cool. about that until just now. So I might need to switch and put that artist statement field here on the cross check validation pages versus in the beginning, you know, where you're entering the yep. entry form. Absolutely. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. We, <laughs> you know, problem like, solving on the fly, you guys. <laughs> yeah, we like to just go on the fly. So anyway, <laughs> even though this has been, you know, how it goes, but you see, I think it's really cool that you can see the files. Then you hit next. And then it says, you did it, and you hit submit. And then my favorite part is you get an email. That's my favorite part. So it takes a minute because it goes through, but usually you get a little thing. There we go. Hey, look at that. So again, edit your response. This is good because you're going to get an email to the account that you started with. So whatever you're using is Reflections Chair. And when you get it, you're going to see the responses. And if you're like, oh my goodness, his name is John. And I wrote like J-O-N-H, you can edit it. You can fix his name. So I like that. In the past, once you uploaded, like your hands were tied. So that's my favorite. And then you hit submit another response um, and you kind of start over with your next kid. And to be honest, that's the end of it. However, on this first form here, the one that uh, we link to, uh, do you guys see this grayed out area that says local unit student winner submission status report? Jones is going to get that cracking for next week so that you can click on that link. It'll be an active link and you can see like your entries have been accepted. There's not going to be this, oh gosh, did it go through? Did county get them? You're going to be able to click on it and see the status of your entries, which again, I think is fantastic. And this will close on November 30th. So you have the whole month to get your winners uploaded. So I think that's that's really it. I will try to get back to the Zoom. Oh, I can't because it's on a different window. All right, well, there we are. Does anyone have any questions? I, and I can pull up the chat and keep an eye on the chat as well as uh, you feel free to take your mic off and ask any questions you may have. I have a question. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Leslie and I am the Reflections Chair at Layer Elementary. And I just wanna say like this form is amazing. It seems very easy to use and um, self-explanatory. So thank you for walking it, us through it, but also thank you for creating it because I feel like it's gonna really streamline things this year. Um, real quick, when we are transcribing that artist statement, like actually retyping word for word, just to clarify, we don't do anything with spelling, grammatical, anything like no. that. Like if they have no periods, we don't type the periods, that if kind of thing. If it's all lowercase, if they spell everything wrong, judges expect that from, you know, certain yeah. age groups, maybe special artist, whatever, they're not looking for perfection where if you've got an 18 right. year old senior 
you know, they're going to be looking a little bit differently than if you've got a five-year-old kindergartner and, you know, with the younger kids, maybe they said their artist statement to their mom and their mom wrote it. And maybe a third right. grader might have some difficulties with writing or spelling. You're just doing exactly how the kid okay. did it. And, okay. um, you know, yeah. Okay. Oh, and I will Sounds say, good. when we, as a county, when we go and enter in our winners, our upload will not allow uh, anything that is nine words or less. So that can be problematic if the kid wrote, I did a cool picture. And then you're yep. like, won't accept it. So you, as a chair, please go back to your kids and say, can you please make this mm -hmm. 10 words? And then if you get a verbose high schooler who writes you an essay, yeah, 101 words, you're done. Like it, it, 100 words, it, it you know cuts you off. So that is something that's kind of out of our hands. Okay. And definitely something to think about for next year is that there's a way to scale this so that you can actually do your entries as electronic, just like I'm doing at county level. So at your own school level, so that you don't mm -hmm. have to um, key them next year, you know, that kind of thing. You could actually do your submissions virtually as well. So um, so just mm -hmm. to consider that for next year, that you could actually just post this on your own um, PTA local unit Facebook page, mm -hmm. similar to the way, the way I did it. It doesn't even have to be this complex. I'm accepting three different kinds and you know, multiple entries in this kind of thing. It doesn't even have to be that complex. Um, and I will be hopefully offering a training on that, um, you know, for uh, for either spring or next fall's uh, okay. PTA training um, for anyone that's actually interested in maybe doing their own units um, electronically next year. That is awesome. Seriously, that is awesome. Yeah, because this is all templates. It's all things that we can just copy and share with you. They're for just files and templates. You don't have to know how to code or do anything crazy. I promise it is very easy peasy on the back end. I mean, they might have a few minor hiccups, but nothing I couldn't help coach you through, I promise. <laughs> nice. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Any other questions? All right, hearing no other questions, we're going to give you guys your time back. We really appreciate you guys, you know, calling in on a kind of a rainy, you know, uncertain time frame. Uh, we do hope that your family stay safe and um, and your kiddos stay well, um, you know, mentally and physically during this uh, this time. So take care, everyone. Thank you so much for all the support. Oh, Thanks, you're so welcome. Well. And thank you, Katie, thank for you being guys. so awesome. You really are. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>